It's 2.54 a.m. And I am the last. With a broken voice and leaky eyes, I stand naked in a man's arms. With his one arm around me, two fingers of the other inside me. I break down in total worship and pray him stay. I know the Lord my God has said that thou shalt have no other God besides me. But tell me, what's a God you can't touch, feel, or see? A God who can't hold you in his arms? Besides, he said that ye are gods, and God is love, and sex is love making. So I have found my God inside of a man, and he has found his worshiper inside me. Our bodies, our bodies, sculpted for God's glory, have become lures and ties and sons, boys, men, women to sin. And they will, as the Perry's prophesied, I, this woman, will hand my soul over to a man who is not my God. I will need. I will kneel for value at the altar of a man's approval, but that worship will not make me whole nor holy. I know that you beseech me, therefore, that I present my body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, for that should be my reasonable act of service, right? Well, I do. I scrub my body and I fix my hair. I powder my nose. I paint my toes. I prepare myself holy because I, this sacrifice, must be holy. I, holy priestess, sculpted for God's glory, now a sheep, living sacrifice that spreads itself underneath a man made God on his bed, I mean, altar. Well, let the sacrifice begin. I know no part of my frame was hidden from God when he wove me together in the depths of the earth, says scripture. And so I hide no part of my body from my newfound sculptor. He and I, clay and its porter. I know that the spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groaning, but I don't need a spirit. I can groan. And oh, do I groan under his weight. I moan, I writhe, I wriggle at his touch. He goes, Turn over, baby. Open your legs wider and arch your back, baby. He, man, made potter twist and bent me into something he can fit in the crack of his palms, around his loins, and I, clay, I submit and I obey. I do know how to please a God. It's 2.54 a.m., and I am the last whose God could not stay when he realized that he... Like I was only made of clay, gods who could not satisfy.